Devri Hayamim Orishon, 1 Chronicles 29. Furthermore, David the king said unto all the assembly, Shalomah, my son, whom alone Elohim has chosen, is yet young and tender, and the work is great. For the palace is not for man, but for Yahuwah Elohim. Now, I have prepared him with all my might for the house of my Elohim, the gold for things to be made of gold, and the silver for things of silver, and the brass for things of brass, the iron for things of iron, and wood for things of wood, onyx stones, and stones to be set, glistering stones, and of diverse colors, and all manner of precious stones, and marble stones in abundance, Moreover, because I have set my affection to the house of my Elohim, I have of my own proper good of gold and silver, which I have given to the house of my Elohim, over and above all that I have prepared for the holy house, even three thousand talents of gold, of the gold of Ophir, and seven thousand talents of refined silver, to overlay the walls of the houses with all the gold for things of gold, and the silver for things of silver, and for all manner of work to be made by the hands of artificers. And who then is willing to consecrate his service this day unto Yahuwah? Then the chief of the fathers and princes of the tribes of Yahshadael, and the captains of thousands and of hundreds, with the rulers of the king's work, offered willingly, and gave for the service of the house of Elohim, of gold, five thousand talents, and ten thousand drams, and of silver, ten thousand talents, and of brass, eighteen thousand talents, and one hundred thousand talents of iron. And they with whom precious stones were found gave them the treasure of the house of Yahuwah by the hand of Yahi El, the Gersharni. Then the people rejoiced, for that they offered willingly, because with perfect heart they offered willingly to Yahweh. And David the king also rejoiced with great joy. Wherefore David blessed at Yahweh before all the assembly. And David said, Blessed be you, Yahweh Elohai, of Yahshadael, our father, forever and ever. Yours, O Yahweh, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty for all that is in the heavens and in the earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O Yahweh, and you are exalted as head above all. Both riches and honor come of you, and you reign over all. And in your hand is power and might, and in your hand it is to make a great, and to give strength unto all. Now, therefore, our Elohim, we thank you and praise your glorious name. But who am I, and what is my people, that we should be able to offer so willingly after this sort? For all things come of you, and of your own have we given you. For we are strangers before you, and sojourners, as were all our fathers. Our days on the earth are as a shadow, and there is none abiding. O Yahuwah Eloheinu! All this store that we have prepared to build you a house for your holy name comes of your hand and is all your own. I know also, my Elohim, that you try the heart and have pleasure in uprightness. As for me, in the uprightness of my heart, I have willingly offered all these things, and now have I seen with joy your people which are present here to offer willingly unto you. O Yahuwah Elohai of Avraham, Yitzchach, and of Yahshadael, our fathers, guard this forever in the imagination of the thoughts of the heart of your people, and prepare their heart unto you. And give unto Shalomah, my son, a perfect heart to guard your commandments, your testimonies, and your statutes, and to do all these things, and to build the palace for the which I have made provision. And David said to all the assembly, 
Now bless at Yahuwah Elohechem, and all the assembly blessed Yahuwah Elohai of their fathers, and bowed down their heads, and worshipped Yahuwah and the king. And they sacrificed sacrifices unto Yahuwah, and offered burnt offerings unto Yahuwah. On the morrow after that day, even rather, even a thousand bullocks, a thousand rams, and a thousand lambs, with their drink offerings and sacrifices in abundance for all Yahshara'el, and did eat and drink before Yahuwah on that day with great gladness. And they made Shalomah, the son of David, king the second time, and anointed him, rather, and anointed him unto Yahuwah to be the chief governor, and Sedok to be the, to be priest. Then Shalomah sat on the throne of Yahuwah as king, instead of David, his father, and prospered, and all Yashadael obeyed him, and all the princes and the mighty men and all the sons likewise of King David submitted themselves unto Shalomah, the king. And Yahuwah magnified at Shalomah exceedingly in the sight of all Yashadael, and bestowed upon him such royal majesty as had not been on any king before him in Yashadael. Thus David, the son of Yishai, reigned over all Yashadael. And the time that he reigned over Yashadael was forty years. Seven years reigned he in Hebron, and thirty and three years reigned he in Yerushalayim. And he died in a good old age, full of days, riches, and honor. And Shalomah his son reigned in his stead. Now the acts of David the king, first and last, behold, they are written in the Sefer of Shemuel the seer, and in the Sefer of Nathan the prophet, and in the Sefer of Gad the seer, with all his reign and his might, and the times that went over him, and over Yashadel, and over all the kingdoms of the countries.